What's up, guys? It's Tuesday. It's uh, kind of a work day for me. I'm going to be uh, enjoying the Mojave Trail today. I've got my driver here, Chris, wearing his amazing rig. Some sweet ass Total Chaos suspension. 2018 Forerunner. Mm -hmm. Now, the biggest thing right now is we're going to go see if Chris will actually attempt the water crossing. We just passed this guy and it was. He had a really tall truck and it was really high up, so there's a slight tiny chance we're not going to do it, but I'm going to try to talk him into it, so let's boogie. That is the water crossing. Oh, fuck. That's his face. This is, this. is We're going to do live reactions of what water crossings look like, and that's the face of like, this is a brand new truck. Are you a real Overlander? So we're gonna have to figure out if this is gonna happen or not. You gonna make it happen? I want it, man. I just want. I mean, I'm gonna film it, so. Just kind of want the electronics to work a little bit. What do you mean? Isn't, isn't there like a shit ton of wires that can wander everything? No. No. It's fine. I really want to go, don't get me wrong. I really want to go. So right now, he's thinking, if I throw a rock in there, it'll tell me the depth. So thumb. The thumb scale. There's no thumb scale. That has nothing to do with it. See, we know how tall it is. It. Yeah. Are you going to do it? If, if he's going to do it, I have to take my pants off to <laughs> film this. What? So. What kind of deal is that? It's, that's the deal. <laughs> So here we are. I'm currently pantless. This this isn't the first time I've been pantless on the Mojave Trail crossing a river, aka the water crossing. Chris here. I need his like unbiased blessing that he's actually gonna follow through with it. If I go walk in the stinky river, like it needs to happen. I mean, you look like that. You might as well go. It's really gross, okay? It's like I've done it, all right? I know what it is. Go, let's see it. All right, Chris is, he's going to attempt it. Out, Worst bro. case scenario, he's gonna back out, but hopefully I don't fall and break my camera. It's gross. I don't like this. Ah. I've never walked across this one, and it's really mushy. I don't, oh. Just for the video, guys, just, oh. My feet are getting stuck. All right. I think I need to walk to the right a little bit more. I don't like it, Chris. I told you it was high. <laughs> I told him it was high. It's this, here, we'll flip the camera. It's that high. <laughs> this high right now. Chris, I'm halfway through, okay? <laughs> what are we doing? He's trying to puss out. It's rocky, it's fine, Chris. <laughs> look, look. Like I said, it's like, it's seriously like, look, this is how tall it is right here. Okay. But that side's gonna be deeper. Oh. <laughs> Gotta hike up my underoos a little more. Or are your pants falling down? No. I just don't wanna drop the camera. <laughs> he is so scared. And I just. Chris, you have to do this now. This is obnoxious. This is not my best position in life, Chris. Okay, you know that, right? You know that I will be driving my own truck through this without even thinking about this. Hey, I don't know, man. 
Shut up. I'm not walking back. You gotta come get me. I'm just really trying not to drop the camera. <laughs> I made it. I'm at the other end of the uh, the river here. So the water's actually really high. I'm not gonna tell him that. Uh, I hope it doesn't break his car. But my 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 balls were wet. It's pretty high right now. So I'm not sure if you guys can see what he's doing, but he's actually creating a perfect wave in front of his truck. You gotta keep that perfect little momentum here. And look how high oh it was. God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. That was perfect. A lot of guys like to jump into the rivers and just create all the speed. And all it's gonna do is put water. Did it go in? No, it didn't go in. It's just coming from all your, the running board. Yeah. Went in a little bit. Just, it's, I think it's on the driver's side more. Oh, really? Hey, bud. How are you doing? How was it? <laughs> He's so nervous. He's like a child out here. The best part is you like you can't turn around now. We got to keep going that way. Right. <laughs> right. But look. So this side was a little lower than this side. I got a tiny, got a tiny bit of water on this. Rear patch right here. It's not bad, dude. It's, just it's not. It's, dude, seriously, Chris, it's right there. Oh, fucking did it, man. Yeah! We're overlanders! Ready? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> what he doesn't know is I'm not putting pants on for the rest of the trip. <laughs> So this is great. So my wife has no idea how I go through so much underwear. Like it's, we're like in the beginning of the day and I'm already changing my underwear because I wet my pants walking through the river. This is it, hun. I know you don't actually watch these, but this is, this is, this is, things happen to me. I don't know. Did they happen to you guys? It was super fun. I hope you enjoyed the jump skit, but we gotta, gotta boogie on. Let's go. Fuck, should we air down? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, probably. Let's air down. Yeah. We we went this far. We just that was close. Almost This is by far my favorite way to air down, but you gotta be very careful not to lose the valve step. So Afton Canyon, this is a gorgeous place. It's insane. This is just like right after you go through the water crossing. And of course it's picturesque. Picturesque, picture perfect. So my goal here today was to see how long it takes to do the Mojave Trail in more or less a stock vehicle. It's got a 2.5 shock up front, replacement shock with a co uh, total chaos upper control arm and some replacement shocks in the back. And uh, we're cruising, but this guy just, he's going to be amazed this whole trip. And I think we're going to make it to the next exit on the freeway before we have to jump on and actually go to work today. But it's cool out here. I love it. This place is insane. Epic. I love it. Go right. I'm gonna go right. Why not? Yeah. God dang, we got a polo drive. God damn. God dang. We need it for day one. So we're on the trail right now. 
Oh, I'm crashing. Made it to the mailbox. This is on the Mojave Trail. There's the mailbox. You got the street sign right there. You got the flag behind us. And the mailbox got all kinds of cool goodies in it. You got to sign your name. A bunch of other folks have done it. Chris is doing it for the first time. And then we're gonna go check out all the other little things in the background and hopefully some random gnome or something doesn't come and steal our car from us while we're walking around. Cause we're gonna leave it running cause we're the only people that know we're out here right now. Oh dude, those people that we saw at the head were from Idaho. Yeah? They went today. October 9th? 96, F-250. From Idaho, right? Yep. Zoe and Mike, Duke and Knox. What's up to the doggos? We're seriously having like an epic trip, right? It's just us, the forerunner. We're cruising on the iconic Mojave Trail. Like, epic trip. This, this trail is so much fun. We're just kind of went through some of the uh, Joshua tree. We're gonna go through a little bit more here. Um, the Forerunner is like, it's a good platform. I'm not gonna lie. It's a really solid setup that we've got going for us. We're cruising like this part of the trail where there's not that much whoops and whatnot. We're averaging at least 30, 35 miles an hour through all this kind of stuff. It's gonna be hard to see, but I mean, it's bumpy and it's just not, because of the whoops, like you're able to kind of like bounce through it, you know? What you right, Chris? I'm getting hippie on him. Bam. October 9th, Chris and Wally, the forerunner, on our way to Best in the Desert, Laughlin Desert Classic race. Peace and love to all. Safe travels. Hell yeah. All right, let's go find the cool stuff now. And do as much research as you can because there's all this kind of cool stuff on the trail that you don't normally see, and you got to go look for it. So out here at the mailbox, you got a cool little things we're going to go look for. This is the frog parking only. <laughs> but it's crazy though, like, so you think about it, we're standing here at the frog parking only. If you didn't know this was here, like this is just far enough back, this is why they kind of do this, from like the main road that you wouldn't see this without kind of venturing around. And there's a bunch of these little things out here, so we're gonna go look for some more. Over here? What was that? Frog parking. Wow. There's definitely a gnome one out here somewhere, but this is like Blair Witch right here. We're cruising around. I've got the camera in my face. The problem is like the Blair Witch Project, they're running around like this, but you can't see past this. We found it, here's the gnomes. We found the gnomes. But see like, the, the Blair Witch Project was fake. I just I just figured it out. You can't do both. You can't run, because you can't see, because you got light in your face. If that's not creepy. That's real. <laughs> Chris, how was your experience out here? It's awesome. It's definitely creepy, but it's awesome. All right, let's go. Yeah. I'm tired. That was great. I had a lot of fun. That was a great time. Thank you, Chris, for the froating adventure. So we're at In-N-Out. We're gonna eat delicious food now. And then we'll do the race stuff after this, so. That was great. No it issues. Was. Yeah. How long did it take? Six and a half hours. We almost did it all. We didn't do the last 20 minute miles because we have to wake up in the morning and go to work and it's midnight, so. Because in and out. Now we're, we're gonna grub hub. <laughs> 